Hey, uh, oh, hey, hey, look at you. You're not stock anymore. Yeah, you know, after our last conversation, I realized you're right. I, I can't be riding around stock. I do tend to be right. I threw on these Milk Racing Supermoto wheels, some prickly parts, and some other goodies. It looks great. But you know what? After the last two weeks of riding, I can't help but feel like it needs more. It needs more power. Right, exactly. What do you think I should do? Get this KO kit, 80 miles per hour with enough torque to loop you at 60. For sure. Yeah, no, that's cool. If you're scared, just say it. Hey, I'm not scared. Right, right. Well, another option is a BAC 8000 controller with a 72 volt chai battery. That's plenty of power to melt the motor. Hmm. BAC 4000? Hmm. BAC 4000 with a 60 volt chai battery? I don't know, bro. Is there anything that doesn't cost as much as buying an entire new Sauron? So you want more power, more speed, and more range without breaking the bank. Right, exactly. And ideally, I wouldn't even have to change the controller. I have no idea how to do that. You just want it all, don't you? Yeah, bro, this is like the only thing that makes me happy. I'm just giving you a hard time. Chai came out with that today. Chai came out with what? They came out with an upgrade that does exactly that. Really? I've never seen that on their website. Yeah, no, it literally came out today. This is a huge deal. Yeah. Today I'll be testing the newest power upgrade available for the Suron, something we've never seen before. Here's how the video will go. I'm going to test the 1 8 mile top speed and range on this bike with a totally stock powertrain. Then I'm going to upgrade it with this never before seen power upgrade and compare it to the benchmark tests and see what we get out of it. Alright, we're out here on the 2023 Suron X that has the 38 amp hour battery. Let's run some benchmark tests. Here we go, top speed 8th mile time. Keep in mind, I've got 16 inch extra fat milk racing supermotos on this bike. Let's see what we get. 13.3. 13.2. Top speed, 46.7 miles per hour. Wow. So that is what we're pushing on the stock bike with 16 inch supermotos. Last thing before throwing on the Chai Power Upgrade, we're gonna do a full range test on stock power. Now this is a full throttle range test. I'm not holding anything back. This is not to maximize range. This is to see what you realistically get ripping. This is a famous six way stop sign. Infamous for nobody knowing who to go first. The bike wheelie is just only at like two miles an hour. <laughs> so slow. Okay, so that was almost exactly 10 miles. Bike's holding up well. We're at 62% on the battery. So I'm gonna head back so I don't get stranded with zero. I gotta keep looking down to make sure it's in sport mode. It keeps feeling like it's an eco. It's just nothing like the 72 volt, which is why I wanna upgrade the power. The test has really been about full throttle the entire time. A lot of fun. Oh, it just sagged. It just hit 15% and I could feel it sag immediately. It's designed to get you home, but I don't want to go home. I want to run out of battery in the middle of the street. There we go. Oh, it's done. 0% on the battery, nothing on the display. We're walking. We're walking home. Got like at least a mile. Holy sh walking socks. Okay, going full throttle on the 16 inch extra fat supermoto wheels with the stocks are on powertrain. We did about 22 miles through the hills. That was so much fun. This is the best bike ever, but boy, does it need a little bit more power. So let's see what kind of improvements we get with this. Now, although it may look like it, this is not a normal battery upgrade. Chai claims that the stocks are on pulse 5 kilowatts, but with their upgrade, it can pull 6, which is a 20% power increase equivalent to adding the power of an entire Super 73 RX. Now, what's special about this is that this is the first power upgrade available for the Suron that doesn't require changing the stock controller. 
Now, I thought that was impossible, so let's see if this is too good to be true. I haven't even turned it on yet. Now that, that's a little more powerful. Let's test the eighth mile top speed and range. So let's jump right into the eighth mile top speed test. It's more powerful for sure. Twelve point eight four again. Twelve point nine seven with a top speed of forty eight point five miles per hour. So not only do we have a faster eighth mile time, but we've also got a faster top speed. Even though the bike is heavier with the bigger battery, and we haven't changed the controller. All right, we're fully charged, and we know we get more power. Let's see if we get more range. <laughs> Going up the same hill I went up on the stock test. This is way more powerful. It feels so good. It's super hilly, it's super windy. As long as it's the same route for both, I don't think it matters. Okay, we're at the 10 mile point. The Chai battery's at 71%, and I think the stock battery was at 64%. Although the bike's a little bit heavier, it's still going faster, and it's getting to that higher speed quicker. I didn't think it was possible. I didn't think you could increase the power of the Suron without changing the controller, but Chai did it. I'm just gonna continue this range test because I'm having such a blast. Let's see what we get. We're at exactly 20 miles, 37% still left on the battery. Okay, I've got 10% left in the battery, so I'm gonna call it here so I don't have to walk home like I did on the stock battery. It's also not good to run the battery down to zero, so I'm not gonna do that on the Chai. Did a clean 30 miles on it with 10% left in the battery. That is way better than the stock. So far, we've confirmed that just by plugging this battery in, we increased the speed, acceleration, and range of the Suron without changing the controller. That's something we've never seen before. There's finally an option that fills the huge gap between stock 60 volt power and 72 volt Ronster. And the best part is, is you've got room to grow. You can change the controller and double the power the battery is built for it. So that means if you've got a stock Suron, this is the best first power upgrade for it because you get the 20% power increase right off the bat plug and play. And then when you're ready, you can upgrade the controller and this battery can push so much more. This battery is a little bit taller than stock. So there is a lift kit for the lid and their new spacer looks so much better than their old 3D printed ones. You've got a choice between a 10 amp variable charger or a smaller, more portable five amp charger. In addition to the big display on the battery, it also comes with a display for handlebars there's no fucking way i'm putting this on my bike but i do want to see what it does here's a demo on the display with the stock battery and this is full throttle on the chai battery okay that's enough talking let's ride
They've done it. Chai has achieved the impossible. You can get 20% more power without changing the controller. There's a discount code below. You know how it works. As always, thank you so much for watching. As I do. Yeah, I'm on